is Thursday, uh, July the 6th, 2017. This is Leanne, and I don't mean to hurt anyone by any means by um, soliciting any type of negative energy. So please believe that this is my awakening happening out loud, and mostly I have not picked up, you know, to do a video when I felt, you know, any fear or anxiety or the kind of questions that plague me that are difficult to answer, if not impossible. And again, this is my own personal experience. This is not how life is. I do know that. So anybody listening to this, just know that I mean no harm to your nature and this has nothing to do with you. But if it resonates with you, then I hope we work it out together or equally as well. Okay, so I keep having a question today of, you know, archons. I'm not supposed to say that, so I won't say it anymore. I'll call them the nitwits after this. And anyways, the nitwits are, you know, they're in the etheric, but they're also... They literally form as amoeba type things that like suck up all the low vibration energy that they happen to be putting out through a grid over our planet, right? So that all trickles down. We absorb that, not including any of the direct negativity we experience through life itself. And next thing you know, here comes the nitwits and they are absorbing that and it just seems to be a vicious cycle and for me I get that and I get that you know so that means that it's not our nature right it's not like for that channel that I love with Ileana uh, Kapolnik um, awakening reality cosmic show if I'm saying that wrong I really apologize but I know I said her name right and she read an awesome piece about this. If you would like to go and listen to yourself, to it for yourself, of course, because that is something I know that even um, even if I'm not worldly about these things, these videos and stuff, I know that I want to be as responsible as I can because I really don't want to harm anyone's nature. And for anyone who hears me get low, please remember. You know, I'm doing these videos for myself, but I know people might listen, and I'm hoping that they will. But I'm only hoping they will if it helps them, not hurts them. And I just, you know, I'm only wanting to to make sure I say that in my heart, no matter what I say or how I'm doing in this moment, that I do believe everything is going to be all right. Even if I'm screaming and hollering and having a tantrum in the floor in five minutes, I still believe in my heart of hearts that everything is going to be all right. So please don't forget that. But yeah, I'm wondering after the nitwit thing I just said and everything else with the, you know, how they make us more tasty with the GMOs and stuff that we eat, you know, if we're in the shower, we're getting beat with fluoride, if, you know, I don't brush my teeth with toothpaste anymore, um, and I don't, um, I don't want my kids to, but they're teenagers, and I can't seem to stop, you know, it's just some things that I'm trying to let them walk their own path, you know, I've explained it to them, you know, my son is a vegetarian of his own right, since he was about literally nine years old, so some things work, some things don't, and some things I think don't for now, but they will later. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling nervous. Like, here's all these things that we can do as these beautiful humans, which was well said in the paper that Ileana Kaponik wrote or read out loud from uh, someone named Cameron. I'll think of the last name in a minute, but I have a head injury and a memory issue that I am conquering, so it's getting better. <laughs> okay, so back to the real reason that I'm making this video, to just I have a problem with focusing. I was never more embarrassed than when I wrote out a, a comment on 
Rose New Blueprint 4848. That's my other new favorite channel. Even though I'm not obsessed with Max Spears, I really appreciate the information and I just really like her energy. Her and Truth You Have and, you know, of course my Rise Together with, um, oh my goodness, Cindy K. Courier. And I wish I could talk to any one of these ladies, like, just really talk. I just went on and on, spurting like a, ugh. I, I don't ever read my comments either. And I don't watch my videos back because I know that I will never send them. But, and that's why, because I read the comment that I wrote to her, and it's just so, gosh, like, gag me. But, <laughs> it's like, God, get some balls. And I just went on and on, and it's so syrupy. But I wish I could just be serious and real and just say, yo, hey, I'm desperate to find my tribe. Can you give me any more clues? Because I'm searching out. I'm getting things the universe wants me to get. I know this. I feel this at times. But I don't know. I feel like I'm, there's more I should be doing, even in my limited state. Like, I just keep wanting to reach higher but I'm not sure what I'm reaching for and I'm not sure if my hand's going in the right direction or am I about to touch something that's going to cut my finger off up there or, you know it's like I don't know but I'm just worried you know I I haven't tapped into my abilities yet my pineal gland is not working and I'm very sad and I know that's from the galactic energy and stuff I'm also able to find my joy which is an, a brand new thing in the last couple of years so I'm still in a, on a pink cloud with that and how grateful I can be I've got my candles lit for Gaia and I you know I talk to her but I'm pretty alone I don't have any physical contact or telephone like I left a lot of my friends and acquaintances behind when I quit drinking several years ago I think it's been five years now and I tried to just kind of cut out a life for myself and I was getting rid of an ex out of my life it was very difficult and I was trying to release him with love but he just wasn't having it and you know so that took about two years to end it was really crazy I mean and he literally still calls the house so it's it's that's been something that I had to deal with but um again it was a beautiful thing to finally have that freedom you know more air to breathe when he left and and so then two years later here I am I'm single I've left all these friends behind um or acquaintances and you know it's just me and the kids and I'm rocking and rolling just trying to get on top of my health 